that's where the socket went. <laughs> fill in the pan, fill in the hand. Pull the dipstick up. Okay, here we are going to be doing an oil change on a 2017 Ford Transit 350 van. It says about 5.9 quarts. So we're not going to change the oil filter this time since we put in a pretty good one last time and we're going to skip this round. <coughs> and we'll start with maybe about four quarts, check it, go up to five quarts and check it, stop when we need to. Okay, so first we gotta pop the hood, open the door, find the hood latch, there it is, this, okay, all right, well there we are, it says 5W20 right there, so, Let's go see if we have any 5W20. All right, we found some 5W20. So here we go. We come under the van um, from the passenger side. So once we crawl in from the side here, there's our oil filter. That's like really easy to get at. Come back a little ways. And then up on the side here. There it is. And we got a 15 millimeter socket. Yeah, once it's cracked loose, it turns pretty easy. Oh man, really? Of course, it's supposed to go on the ground, but that's where the socket went. Guess that lubricates it. Oh, yummy! There, that's how you oil your tools up. Fill my hand. Now let's get out of here and loosen the cap up top. Oh. There it is. It's gold now. Had the gold touch. All right. Let's go ahead and open our cap over here. Put that somewhere safe. Wipe my hands before getting them all over the engine. Go. Loosen the cap up. Let it breathe. Let it drain. Looking like it's almost done here. All right, got that cleaned off. Let's check it out. See what it's doing. And tiny little trickle. We'll let it go another minute here. Snuggies. There we go. Try not to spill it everywhere. All right, we're ready to fill it up here. If you're changing your oil filter, which you should do most times, but we just had one on there last time and it's not looking too bad. We're gonna skip this round but you would have done that before putting the oil back in. So, now it's time for us to put some oil in. Try not to spill it everywhere. If you tip the bottle backwards, it actually goes easier, but I'm holding the camera with my left hand, so 
tipping it backwards is harder to do, but you don't spill it as easily. All right, so there we go. We just, we're gonna put a bunch in, not the full bottle. Then we'll check our level. Pull the dipstick out, we wipe it off. Then we reinsert it. And then now's when we check the level. All right, it's looking pretty close, so we're gonna start it up and then uh, let it run for a minute, then shut it off and recheck it. Okay, we got that all changed out, looking good. Now, last thing we need to do here is reset the oil life indicator on the dash. So, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so we step on inside the vehicle. Get in here. And... As you can see, oil change required. All right, so we just turn the key to the run position. We don't actually start it. Now, down on the floor, we step on both the gas and the brake and hold them down. And everything should, there it is. There it is. It's like the transformers are doing it for you. Oil reset in progress. Oil reset complete. That's how you do your oil change. You step on the gas and the brake. And it changes your oil for you. There we go. No warning lights. Perfect. Thank you for watching. 2017 Ford Transit 350 van oil change.